Good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray. Welcome to Scotty Ray's Morning Weather. It's Thursday, March the 9th as we get ready for Good Friday tomorrow and then we'll head into Easter weekend. Hope you'll be able to attend an online church service or something similar to that as we uh, watch our social distancing here in the great state of Mississippi and West Central Alabama. As uh, we begin our day, we look back at yesterday of all the weather that rolled through yesterday afternoon. It was a lot of rain. Uh, all the folks from Winston County, uh, Neshoba County, uh, Newton County uh, got some very heavy winds, and then it cut across there at Key Field, uh, across where Bonita Lakes Mall out through Zero area, and we got some hail. A few trees here and there uh, got pushed down in, uh, on the rural routes, but uh, overall, I don't think any major damage was recorded other than some hail uh, in places. So that's the good news with that. As we begin our day, our weather coverage being brought to you, of course, by Hoopers on 22nd Avenue and Red Justice Automotive. Uh, we do have a slight chance of rain this morning. And as we go to radar, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we've got going on. Knoxby County this morning getting rain uh, around Sugarlock Lumber down uh, just into the edge of Kemper County. Hadn't quite made it to the city limits of DeKalb yet, but uh, out by Siples Mills getting some rain. Winston County's got a little bit. We still have a thunderstorm warning over in Sumter County, Alabama. Uh, these storms will be uh, cutting through about where the University of West Alabama is and also over by Utah, Alabama. So if you're in those areas, still some, some thunderstorm activity this morning. Uh, that uh, uh, severe thunderstorm warning will expire here in just a few moments for y'all. But 20% uh, chance of rain through about 10 o'clock this morning. These showers here are going to drift on off to the east through Alabama and make their way out of the area. So that's kind of the wet stuff that we've got in store for you uh, this morning. Otherwise, it'll gradually become sunny by this afternoon. A high will reach 81. By tonight, we'll have a 20% chance of showers after 1 a.m. And, and a low a lot cooler than it's been being 52 for tonight. As we move into Good Friday, it'll be cloudy for the most part of the day and then gradually get clearing up with a high of 67. Cooler weather there as well. As we move into Saturday, 20% chance of rain after 4 p.m. It'll be a great day up until then. High of about 75, and then the rain moves in with a 100% chance of showers for Saturday night uh, with a high of 78, and we'll get rain on Sunday as well with 100%. So uh, it looks like uh, earlier part of Saturday, you can still get some things done, and then it will uh, become uh, wet late Saturday night through most of Sunday. So make sure to check those out. And again, these showers uh, in northern Kemper this morning, University of West Alabama who are at Livingston, Still getting some shower activity, so if you're in that neck of the woods this morning getting wet as this drift zone off from us. Well, good morning. I do hope your day has started out well for you, that you're getting up and enjoying yourself as we begin our uh, our stories and things that, that happened throughout uh, uh, the United States. We'll, we'll go back. Let's go back to the 90s. Do y'all remember this? Uh, Linda Tripp, the lady who sparked the, uh, the um, impeachment trial of Bill Clinton that turned in Monica Lewinsky uh, for her confiding in her about what went on between her and Bill. She passed away yesterday with pancreatic uh, cancer and she was 70 years old. Hard to believe it's been that long ago since all that went down. And of course, uh, there in the right hand corner, if you're on an iPhone, I know it's hard to see, but that's the, uh, the picture of Bill that was taken in the blue dress that uh, Jeffrey had in his little, uh, well, what do you call it? His little cottage out there and his little ranch. But uh, Linda Tripp has passed away, who started that whole scandal with Monica back in the 90s with President Clinton. As uh, Let's see. Today, uh, have you heard this? This was brought up to Trump at a press conference yesterday. And this is huge right now. Uh, Joe Exotic, of course, that show that's on Netflix that everybody's watching, they've been kind of putting in the guy is accused of putting a hit out on uh, his the lady that was constantly after him about his animals. She's an animal rights activist. And I guess he finally had enough and took out a contract mm -hmm. on her. Uh, someone asked, uh, this was after Don Jr. made a comment that maybe his sentence should be, he should be pardoned or something. Uh, Trump said, you know, hey, I hadn't really watched the show. I don't know anything about what the guy did. Even asked a reporter what his charges were. And he goes, well, that does sound kind of excessive for whatever it was. But he's saying he'll look into it. Hadn't said that he would uh, set him free or anything like that, but uh, that show is big right now. And uh, as I said, I've still only watched one show, so I don't know as much as the rest of everyone does about this show, but uh, it is interesting, to say the least. Uh, it, this is sad news as we wake up. Uh, Robert uh, Kennedy's great-grandson, the body of him, has been found. Him and his mother 
a ball went out in uh, the water. They got in a canoe to paddle out to get it. Uh, winds overturned the canoe. She was found first. He was found yesterday afternoon. Uh, so sad news for the Kennedys is that still it's like there's a, uh, a big cloud over their head. Uh, we pass along condolences to the Kennedy family. As uh, Bernie, maybe you hadn't heard this by now in the, in the midst of everything going on with the coronavirus, but Bernie finally uh, said he's quitting his run for president. We'll leave his, leave his name on the ballot, but he is uh, he's out. Uh, as we knew, he didn't have a chance of winning, and he uh, he realized that as well. So Bernie Sanders is out, has quit his bid for president of the United States. As uh, we saw this coming, did we not, in all these areas to where everybody's sitting at home and you've got stores just sitting there, looting is starting to take. While they say that uh, crime overall is down, looting is up, and they're targeting these businesses out there that uh, no one's at. Much of it going on in Memphis, Milwaukee, California. Let's hope they get a grip on that. As uh, we go to Jackson, Mississippi next, uh, the Mississippi Fair Commission director has been arrested in the charges, and I don't have much more than this, for promoting prostitution. It does not say how he was promoting it, but he has been arrested and re will remain in, trial, uh, in jail until his initial court appearance. We'll get more details on that as it slowly comes out about that. But the Mississippi Fair Commission executive director arrested. As uh, How about this? Uh, who all has a firearm permit? I do. Uh, they're going to extend the firearm permit's expiration date. They're going to extend that. If you've got one that ran out March 14th on forward, they will extend that until this pandemic ends, and then you go back and renew it, and you won't be uh, penalized. Well, the rest of us, I don't know if you've tried to do this, where in the Meridian area you go, and you can only get in there one day, and you get right up there, and they go, well, we're not taking any more today. So mine expired because I couldn't get inside. Hmm. Anyway. But if yours is running out during this, they're going to extend it. But uh, I think mine has been out for a year now. It's hard to get in there. Our next uh, story, this is over in Italy. Uh, a bridge collapsed yesterday. The good news, that's 850 feet of a bridge that fell down. The good news was there was only two cars on the bridge due to no one traveling because of the pandemic. And they weren't seriously uh, hurt. They were taken to the hospital, but uh, no deaths with that. So that that's good news. So... A little good news and some bad news all at the same time, is, uh, I guess is what I'm trying to say on that one over in Italy there. All right, as uh, we look at what's going on with, uh, as we bring up the coronavirus, now this again will update a little later on this morning. As we look at the state of Mississippi having 2,003 cases, we're up to 67 deaths. This is, these are stats from yesterday. Lauderdale County now with 84 cases. Kemper has 11 cases. We go over to Neshoba County. They have 13 cases up to Winston with 16. Knoxby only has five. Clark is uh, moved up to 10 places, uh, cases rather, and Jasper County still has four. Now, somewhere around 10, 1030 this morning, they will update this again and we'll have new numbers um, to, uh, to go by. As we look at the world map, we're at 1.4 million that has been infected, 88,000 deaths, and 332,000 people have uh, recovered from this. We still look at America. It's still a lot of red in there. You have to get out into the uh, out west there before it starts lightening up and starting to see some more cases uh, there as well. So that's where we are on the, uh, the pandemic as it uh is upon us. We'd like to thank our sponsors this morning for making this happen. Hoopers on 22nd Avenue and the good folks at Rick Justice Automotive. Again, as we go back and look at our forecast this morning, uh, we do have some showers in northern Kemper County, uh, a little bit scattered here throughout Knoxby County, and over starting to see some light showers there in northeastern Neshoba County this morning. And of course, uh, there's uh, some storms uh, that are in Sumter County, Alabama that are going to roll through Livingston, Alabama here in the next little bit. So beware if you're in Livingston this morning. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning for y'all this morning as well. Demopolis, you're going to get some rain. But uh, otherwise, a 20% chance of rain this morning uh, for us here in the Meridian area. And we will uh, that'll be ending about uh, 10 o'clock. So uh, expect uh, a few showers here and there this morning before, before it's all said and done. Uh, so, all right, let's take a look at our uh, seven-day forecast as we get into uh, next week, as we get into uh, the remainder of the week. And yeah, right, and that's not working for me this morning, is it? No, it's not. I don't know why. So let's try that one more time.
No, nope, that did not work. There we go. All right. Our seven-day forecast as we look at this is going to be, as we said, Sunday is going to be the big rain day, 90 to 100% chance of rain. And then Monday, we'll start getting that sunshine back. And it looks pretty good all the way through Wednesday. Just some smidges of showers there on Tuesday and Wednesday. But today, we'll have a 20% recap in that, 20% chance of rain through about 10 a.m. this morning. A good-looking day on Friday. Slight chances of rain. They'll start to move in Saturday after 4 o'clock and then into that rain Saturday night and into Sunday morning. So it'll be wet then. So that's a recap of what your weather is uh, taking place this morning. Uh, again, Kipper County getting a little wet this morning. Other than that, it looks great. Thanks for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me. Uh, share this uh, on your friends list. You can go in and invite your friends so they can keep track of the weather as well. Thanks for being a part of it here with Scotty Ray's Morning Weather.